Hey everybody and welcome back to Das Studio. So in this video I'm going to talk about the things that I think everybody should know before they use Das Studio. Before I get started with that though, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's hit that notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my patrons and members. Your support really keeps me going and it means such a great deal to me. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can visit the Patreon in the description below or you can hit the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. I think the first thing that you really need to know, part number one, shall we call it, is that Das Studio is a free piece of software, which means that the authors have to make money in other ways. And the business model that Das Studio have used is to make the software itself free and then run a marketplace where you can buy assets to use. You do get very basic items with Das Studio itself, uh, but the if you want to be able to create original looking renders and really good looking stuff then you're going to have to visit the Das Studio store at some point. There are other avenues that you can go down to get such content but I do not condone or support that method at all. I'm not even going to mention it. The next thing that I think is very important to understand is that Das Studio is completely hardware dependent. If you do not have an Nvidia graphics card, a GeForce graphics card, then your renders are going to be incredibly slow and painful and in some cases the quality is just not going to be there. The, uh, the render engine that is used by Das Studio is iRay, which is an NVIDIA render engine. And if you don't have an, either a GTX or an RTX graphics card, then it's going to be a very slow and painful process for you. And it might actually be better to look elsewhere because Das Studio is not the only way of creating 3D content that's out there. And also the better your graphics card, i.e. the more CUDA cores that your graphics card has, the faster render times will be. That isn't to say that if you have an all singing, all dancing graphics card, like well the newest ones, a pair of RTX 3090s, that you're gonna be able to bang out amazing renders in seconds. It's still gonna be a time consuming process, but the better your graphics card, the faster your render times are going to be. So that's something else to bear in mind. If you're only working on a budget system, if you're a hobbyist and you are trying to put out some kind of gaming content and you want to be able to do it quickly, Das Studio may not be the best option for you. Number three, I would say, is that the Das Studio documentation itself is absolutely appalling. That's why channels like mine exist, because we want to put out there the information that we have so that other users can get on better with it but the actual documentation provided by Das Studio is really bad. Um, where there is documentation, it's sometimes quite hard to understand and it's just really, it's shocking. So if you're the kind of person who likes to read the manual before you start using a piece of software, again, Das Studio may not be the piece of software for you. I would certainly consider looking at software that is better supported, such as the 3ds max the mayors the blenders out there that have got much much more in the way of documentation and support out there number four is going back to the content purchasing system that is in place there are optionals um there, there are places where you can go to buy content um generally speaking the dash studio store itself is going to be where you're going to find the higher quality content they are very very careful about who they allow to become published artists and they make sure that there's quality control put in place uh, whereas the other sites are not so much so you could be buying literally any old garbage from the other places having said that the quality control of the Das Studio store itself does not necessarily mean that if you buy something it's guaranteed to be amazing I, like most people, have fallen into the trap of buying something from the Das Studio store only to find out that it is not up to scratch. It doesn't contain certain items that you may perhaps want. Maybe the character doesn't have a high definition enough texture on it or something along those lines. 
and you have to return it. Death Studio does have a refund policy which will allow you to return certain items back to them but it's a process that you have to go through and if you don't want to waste your money and not have to waste time just be very selective about what you buy. Next I would say is that there are support channels on YouTube for Death Studio, mine included, but much like the gym there's a lot of, uh, I'm going to use the analogy of bro science out there, there's a lot of people out there who make 20 minute long videos that don't really teach you anything or that spend 20 minutes waffling and don't actually tell you the things that you need to know within a reasonable space of time. And some are just out there with plain misinformation in them. So again, be careful which uh, avenues you go down to get support and help. I'm not going to say that I'm the best, obviously, but um, you know, be very careful who you listen to again, because sometimes you will spend hours watching a video only to realize that you don't get the information you want and all that person is doing is promoting their own products to you or trying to keep sponsors happy. So something else to bear in mind there. The next thing is that Death Studio is a piece of software that is very easy to mess up but it's also very easy to reset. So if you're creating a scene and you're not sure if something's gonna happen, just experiment. As long as you're not saving anything, you are not going to do any harm. It's like any other piece of software. As long as you're not hitting any kind of save function, you're not going to overwrite anything important. So feel free to play around, move things about, move your characters, tweak your characters, play with sliders, and you can't really go wrong. Just experiment, enjoy yourself, and make the most out of it. It is free software. It does have limitations, but it's still worth playing around with. One of the bigger ones that I get questions about all of the time, and I am adamant about this, uh, Dash Studio is not animation software. It has animation functionality built into it, almost as an afterthought, I would say. But if you're looking to create really powerful, amazing looking Ganso style animations, you are not gonna be able to achieve that in Dash Studio. There just isn't the functionality there. It's a very rudimentary system. They are making improvements to it as they go along, but you are going to be much better served spending your time learning something like Blender or Maya or something along those lines in order to be able to push out really amazing looking animations. There is a running joke with some of my older fan base where I've made comments in the past about people trying to create sex scenes using Das Studio animations and it just likes two toasters clonking together with boobs stuck on the front of them. So, uh, yeah, don't uh, don't waste your time. If you're looking for a really good animation software, this is definitely not it. One of the biggest selling points of Das Studio that the devs rely heavily on is the claim that you do not need any understanding of 3D modeling to work in Das Studio. Whilst it is true to a certain point, you can get away with just using shop bought content and not having to create your own assets. Uh, if you're w wanting to create original content or you're wanting to create interactive content without having to spend crazy money on licensing, you're going to need to get at least a little bit familiar with software such as ZBrush or Hexagon, which is the free modeling tool that comes with Das Studio, or Blender, which is also free. You really do want to spend a bit of time learning how to use these pieces of software because it will serve you well in the future. And the more you know, the better your content is going to be, most definitely. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that Das Studio is, I would say, the predominant user base for Das Studio are people creating adult content. You can tell simply by looking at the Das Studio store and the other storefronts that you can buy content from. The overwhelming majority of content that is put out there is intended to be sexy or used for that kind of content. If you have an issue with that, again, maybe Death Studio isn't the way forward. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's death by association. However, the content that is put onto the storefronts is largely very sexy, even going as far as the poses. So you can pose your characters and almost all of them, I would argue, are 
<laughs> the the sexification of the the sexualization of standing poses finding poses for a woman just standing normally is actually really quite a challenge almost all of the standing poses they're doing sexy modeling poses glamour style poses and it's just uh, one of those things that you're going to have to contend with when you're using Dash Studio and you're buying content you can create your own poses of course I have got videos on how to do that but um, something else to bear in mind anyway I'd say probably the last and the absolute most important thing that you need to know and these are all by the way tips that I wish I'd known when I first started with Dash Studio is that renders take time and you are going to have to tweak them in post-production i know that i've labored that point in my previous video and i know that some people have argued the case that you don't need to but i'm putting my foot down and saying you do time is something that you're going to lose a lot of using dash studio the renders are going to take anything from five minutes up to several hours to get anything looking good and you want to make sure that you run your renders for as long as possible to get the most grain free and clean detailed images that you can. And then going into post production and I don't care whether you're a hobbyist or someone who's just doing it for fun. If you really do care about your image quality and your quality of product that you're outputting whether you're rendering for the sake of games or if you're rendering for the sake of just general artwork you're going to want to use a piece of software like either GIMP or Photoshop or something like that to post produce your images, post process your images to make sure that they're looking at their absolute best. All right, guys, I hope you found those tips useful. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, hit like if you think I deserve it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Bye bye.